Hi everyone! I've gotten a ton of questions about what types of materials we can use on the Dremel laser cutter and I'm super excited to share an overview of the Dremel materials uh, with you today. So Dremel has graciously given me samples of the materials that they sell so I can show you how they work on the Dremel laser cutter. Uh, and I'm super excited about this because there are three different types of acrylic, which I haven't shown a ton of videos about yet, and two different types of wood. So everything that I've cut so far has been out of the birch plywood, and that was from Dremel originally. Uh, but now I've got the acrylic and a different type of wood as well to try out. So I'm going to do a quick overview of all of these materials and show you what they look like. And then I'll do an in-depth video for each one of them in order to show you how it works uh, by cutting one of my uh, sample swatches to see how it engraves and cuts. And then doing a project with each one to see how it works overall. So super excited about this. Um, let's take a look at what the materials are. So first I'm going to go through the acrylics. Uh, the first one I have is an eighth inch matte acrylic. So all of these come pre-stacked. They are sized properly for the Dremel laser bed, 12 by 20. And the acrylics come with a plastic layer on them. Uh, usually you'll leave the plastic layer on the back from my previous experience. Um, a lot of times you want to peel it off the front just so you don't have to peel all of the extra plastic off once you've cut it. Um, if you're, especially if you're going to be engraving. So the matte acrylic means that it has a little bit of um, finish to it. So I've come in a little bit closer. You can see that finish is a lot, is matte and that's pretty nice, especially if you're cutting and you don't want to have to engrave to get a matte finish to it. So that is pretty cool. Okay, the next one is a clear acrylic. So still eighth inch. I think all of these materials are eighth inch thick. So clear acrylic. This is just pure acrylic, so this is pretty standard. So you can see the difference between that clear and then this matte. Let's put those side by side. So you can see the difference in sheen there. You can also get a matte finish on clear acrylic depending on, um, uh, you can use chemicals to, to give it a different sheen or you can raster on it to give it a different sheen as well. So clear acrylic is really nice to have in your materials to work with just so that you, it's a, it's a good workhorse. The third acrylic is a blue. So this is also eighth inch blue acrylic. You can see that um, when it's stacked, it's much more darker blue, but you can see it's just a light blue. It's a shiny finish, so it's not matte, but like I was saying, you can always engrave on it. Uh, so that's kind of nice because that'll give a different effect uh, when we cut it and make things with it. Okay, the other two boxes are woods. So the first one is the birch plywood. This is what I've been mostly working with already because I had some from Dremel. What's nice about this wood is it has a large wood grain to it. So it's not uh, super tight wood grain. It's also a, a nice, smooth, lighter wood, so it accepts paint really well, and it also um, accepts stains really well, too. It's plywood, so you can uh, see if you get in close to this edge that there are, um, there's a middle medium inside of that, and then the, the top and bottom layer is birch. So if you're engraving on this, you just wanna make sure not to engrave lower than the actual ply top. Um, and I'll talk about that more in that specific video. But this is really nice uh, birch. I've really enjoyed working with it so far. And what, what's also really nice about using the woods from a specific laser cutting um, outlet is that it is flat wood. That's really important when you are cutting and engraving because if you have warped wood, uh, the engraving is gonna be 
not super focused. So that's really important to keep in mind if you're engraving versus just cutting. Okay, the last one I wanna show you is the walnut plywood. This is also eighth inch. I'm super excited about this one. Um, look at how beautiful this is. So walnut is a dark wood. It, it's a beautiful finish. You can also see similar to the birch plywood because it's plywood, it just has a thin piece of walnut on the top and bottom and then it has substrate in between. So once again, if you're engraving on this, you wanna make sure you're testing to not go below the veneer so that you're not getting into that substrate. But walnut is a hardwood, it has a beautiful grain to it, and I'm really excited to try laser cutting some of my jewelry pieces on this. Uh, and I feel like the, uh, the singed edge of the wood is gonna look really nice against the dark wood uh, front and back. So those are the five materials that I'm gonna play with right now. Uh, just to give you an idea of price, the three acrylics, the matte, the clear, and the blue, each of those is $65 for five sheets. And that is pre-cut for the proper size and, um, and they have the, the plastic on both sides of the acrylic. The birch is $40 for five sheets and that's a high quality finish and cut to size. And then the walnut is 115 for five sheets. And that might seem pricey, but this is a high quality walnut and I'll let you know how it cuts and how it looks um, to really see uh, how good that is. I'm really excited to play with that. So thank you Dremel so much for providing these materials and I'm looking forward to starting to cut with them and get a better idea of how the different materials work with the Dremel laser cutter itself. Thanks for watching.